Good morning, friends. Oh, my setup is kind of wiggling a little bit. Sorry about that. Today, I am focusing on a few different things for us as individuals, as healers, as empaths, as intuitives. And the second subject that I really wanted to talk about is saging. Saging, I get a lot of questions about what's the significance, why sage, and what does it even do? Well, the overall understanding that I have is that saging is a way of cleansing the energy fields in your space, which in my office, I do it once a month, in myself, my body, which once a month while I'm saging the whole office, I'm actually saging myself as well. And why do we do this? So cleansing the energy fields is a pretty much clearing out things that don't belong. If we all clean our homes or clean the toilet or clean the sink, anything like that, we know that muck gets accumulated. And even though we try to keep everything neat and clean, things can get through. And that's okay. We don't live in a perfect world where everything is completely perfect all the time. But our energetic hygiene, as Jen Weigel would say, is really important. We want to make sure that we are keeping ourselves clean. Just like you shower, you bathe, and you make sure that you've cleaned every crevice of yourself, you want to do that for your energy as well. So today I want to tell you a little bit about saging, and I have some notes here to help out. First of all, what is your intention of saging? Why do you want to sage? For me, I am usually saying I want to clean the energy, clean the space, clear out and transmute any of the energies that I've helped people release in this office. This is my sacred space. This is my safe space. I don't want to leave trash on the floor, whether it be energetic or, or actual physical, right? When I am saging, I set my intention. I pray. You can say setting intention or you can say you pray. Either way it goes, it is something that you are mentally saying, this is what I hope for, this is what I want, this is what I need out of this. So setting your intention is number one. For me, I would like to cleanse the energies that are in my office. I'm not saying that it's a problem to have energy in my office. No, that's not what it is. It is stagnant energy that has been transmuted. We're just helping clear it a little bit more. Praying, intention. The actual saging. Many different cultures all over the world use sage. Even in the Bible, it talks about um, burning herbs and the aromas and oils. So I think it's fun to think of it that way. We are actually burning herbs to help clear the space and set up for a clear mind, clear intention, and the clarity of everything that's around us. So sage is one way, one utensil or tool that you can use. You can also use Palo Santo. Palo Santo is one of my favorites. It smells really sweet. And the direct English transaction, translation is, um, the words are slipping from my head. <laughs> um, Palo is wood or tree, stick. And santo is saint. So holy stick would be the more English translation to that. And what I do is I shave off little pieces into my sage. And I actually mix it with lavender. Lavender is a disinfectant. As is sage as well, which is funny. Cleaning, disinfectant, 
energy. A little bit of correlations there, right? As I use that, the Palo Santo Sage and the Lavender, I mix those up and then I burn them. I actually use an Avalon shell. The reason why I use an Avalon shell is because I want to make sure that whatever I'm doing, I do it with the maximum potency. So when we use an Avalon shell, which is a really beautiful shell with a very shiny interior inside, it almost looks multicolored, like those really cool cars that are driving around nowadays. And that is calling on all of the elements when we are doing it with that. I use the Avalon shell. I put earth in it, all of the sage, the Palo Santo and the lavender a lighter fire, the next element, and I blow on it. And you probably will need to blow on it a little bit to be able to get the fire or the herbs to start burning. Can anyone guess what the next element is? Air, wind, fire elements. As you are using all of these different elements to help clear and cleanse that energy in your space, you are actually calling in all of the power of this earth to help you cleanse and clear. You, for me at least, I walk around my whole office space. I do this at home as well and maybe in a later video I will talk about the home one. But we clear the whole space. I walk counterclockwise throughout the whole space, and I make sure that the sage is actually filling the whole area. Open some windows, sometimes it can get pretty smoky, but as you are counterclockwise setting the intention, you are praying that this area, this space, this sacred space that you usually are in is being cleansed and cleared of any negative energy, anything negative, any negative in uh, entities as well. One thing that I have been adding is putting obsidian, black obsidian, in various spots of my office and then cleansing those in the moon when I am cleaning. So I hope that today this video is helping you understand a little bit about more, a little more about why we sage and what the benefits are of saging. Because saging is actually a ritual that was used for ever. <laughs> and people have just kind of lost that knowledge as to why they sage and what exactly it means to sage. Uh, another fun fact or a fun tip that you might really find interesting is if you go camping, which I go camping constantly, if you throw a little bit of sage into the fire, you will repel mosquitoes and flies. Pretty interesting, right? I don't know about you, but mosquitoes and flies are not my favorite, and they are very negative to me. So that will be another trick or tip that will help you cleanse your space of unwanted little beings. Have a wonderful day.